G'day folks, I've just come down here to Combi Life Australia and Van Essa to check out the latest Rockton full motion all wheel drive. I've found Mark down here and he's going to tell us a little bit about the vehicle. Come with me. What have we got here mate and what's going on? Well thanks for coming today Alex. Uh, what is this uh, perfect vehicle for full motion adventures to come and check out? This is a T6 full motion but not any old T6 full motion. Let's take a look. Four motion badge is the first giveaway, but if we look at the side profile of this vehicle, we can see these tyres are speaking intent. It's the standard Volkswagen commercial rim, so load rated. Particularly impressive, this rim, I might say, just the, the absolutely uh, large spokes gives it such a, it's such a strong rim to take a, a good beating. But we've put on the general grabber, uh, general grabber tyres, all-terrain tyres, light truck tyres, load rated tyres. They're 225 70-17s. So we're actually gaining some lift on this vehicle purely through the tyres. The next thing we've done to gain additional lift, you might see uh, in that wheel arch here, we've got some significant extra lift here. Uh, it's through the cycle suspension. So it's a little bit hard to see in there, but just up in here is the cycle suspension. And the cycle suspension kit is giving us an extra 30 odd millimetres of lift. Cycle uh, is a German company based not far from Frankfurt. And Peter Cycle has been racing Volkswagen vehicles through the desert, uh, Paris, Dakar, etc. since he was a younger man. He's now in his, uh, in his 70s and continuing to build great equipment for Volkswagen commercial vehicles. Caddy, Transporter, Multivan, and now Crafter with a new Crafter, which we'll check out in a minute. Some of the Cycle equipment, in addition to raising the vehicle to get that clearance, which is just so important in Australia, is to protect the vehicle. So when I drive in Germany, I might drive over a twig. Here we drive over gibber stones and logs and all sorts of things. And that can be a real issue, can't it, Alex? Absolutely. Look, you know, I've got the Seekle equipment in my vehicle. And so far, on a few trips out in the outback, it's performed really well. And uh, certainly behaves well on those corrugations, which is really important. And those rock sliders you got there, I've got to say, they've saved us once already. Really good equipment. I'm very happy with that, Mark. So the, this is a short wheelbase rock slider. This is this silvery rolled item underneath the vehicle here. And if we have a, uh, bit, like Alex has a long wheelbase, this is a short wheelbase, but if we have those ramp over angles, you know, that, that rock slider can be really, really important to help the vehicle glide over and have the rock slider actually take the, uh, take the loads rather than uh, the underbody of the vehicle, which is not specifically designed to do that. If we come around uh, the vehicle a little bit further, we're gonna continue talking about cycle, but we'll see a glimpse of the Vanessa camping system in the back. We won't dwell on that now. We've got lots of videos and content on the Van Essa system. But that said, apparently it comes should... out pretty easy, doesn't it, Mark? It does. It has a big fridge, and that's when we're camping. <laughs> we need the big fridge, so we've got to oh, get yeah. that in. Cookers and sinks and so on. But let's keep going around the vehicle here. Alex has got some footage we're going to cut away to of yep. the underbody protection for the rear diff, which we've just passed the rear diff. It's a four wheel drive. There's a differential at the back that needs protection. But on this side, Instead of having the rock sliders, you'll see this is a little bit differently profiled. Uh, this acts as a rock slider, but it's not a rock slider. It is indeed a, a fuel tank, and if the vehicle's Euro 6, the AdBlue tank guard. So the fuel tank is here on the Volkswagen vans. So the fuel tank is on this side of the vehicle. We have a full 5mm L plate, aluminium plate from Germany from Cycle, protecting that fuel tank and that AdBlue tank. That is not a good situation to be in if we pierce that tank two or three hundred kilometers from somewhere uh, and just can't proceed with the vehicle. And just around the front here we shall see that we have the most really the most critical of the underbody protection plates that really everybody should be at least fitting this one is the uh, engine and gearbox guard. There's a lot of complexity under this vehicle in that particular area, engine gearbox uh, just mentioned. But also, we have uh, you know, all sorts of belts, air conditioning, etc. I have uh, snapped air conditioning on one of my trips to Birdsville, uh, not having that plate. I then carried on to Darwin. <laughs> it's pretty humid up there and no yeah, air conditioning well, in Darwin. Well, I had two power windows, so that was... Yeah, I think underbody protection is very important, particularly with those stones coming up. You can really damage something very easily. So um, that's certainly a good investment yeah. and a good security policy, I think, when you're out and about. Sure. Should we go and check out the crafters uh, cycle equipment as well? Let's do it. We're okay. Here. Okay, Mark, so what have we got here, mate? 
This is Volkswagen's all new Crafter, released only a couple of years ago, now available in the all important 4 motion. What is significantly different about the Crafter, it's an, all, it's an absolutely all new design, and the 4 motion is now applied in the Volkswagen factory. That means, consequentially, for us as customers, we can now uplift our Crafter to a 4 motion model at not a significantly uh, uh, expensive uplift. So that's just awesome. In the past, they were really, really, really expensive to get from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. Now it's very, very affordable to go to four motion. This also has a couple of extra features that we'll look at in a minute. Let's have a look at some of the, some of the uh, special features here. On this particular crafter, we do have the rock sliders. So Cycle has equipped this vehicle with rock sliders and we also have some very significant off-road uh, off tyres and just for the uh, camera record they're the Kumho Adventurer, Adventure MT51s and the size on this particular tyre is the 245 70 17 with 119 load rating 116 at Q speed so the speed rating there and we're using the black rhino uh, alloys here as well so this is a particularly nice a nice setup here we've got with this. Also the cycle ray suspension on this particular vehicle as well. And as we come around towards the front of the vehicle, we can see a lot of presence is gained and capability is gained with the genuine cycle snorkel. Oh, that's um, very interesting. You know, I mean, I think these are very important, not only for protecting your vehicle from water ingress, but also, I guess, lifting up away from the dust and, and the contaminants you can get inside your airbox, so that's pretty good. So this is approved by Volkswagen yep. for use. There's no compromise with your warranty. Mm -hmm. It comes with a five-year unlimited kilometre warranty, okay. which is quite awesome for a commercial vehicle, mind you, because some yeah. commercial vehicles do some pretty high mileages. Yeah. It has a five-year unlimited kilometre warranty, but even with the snorkel, uh, it still maintains that warranty. Notice that the snorkel inlet is facing backwards. That is a requirement of that uh, installation, not to have it facing forwards and that is excellent to protect from dust Fantastic. and dress. Fantastic, that's um, a really good idea. I've driven this vehicle uh, quite a bit and I cannot say I hear any air intake noise on, and so on. So we also have here the front underbody protection plate. So this is again a five millimeter aluminum plate protecting the uh, front engine and gearbox here. And the vehicle's also fitted with uh, a rock slider on our passenger side and additional protection under this vehicle as well. So there's a rear diff guard and a muffler guard, which is pretty hard to see on this vehicle, but they do have these, do have these features. So here's that awesome rock slide as well. This is a mid-wheel base van. The Crafter is available in mid-wheel base and long wheel base as a four motion. And when it's in mid wheelbase, we can have it with a standard roof or a high roof. This vehicle is a high roof vehicle, so we can stand up inside this vehicle. The long wheelbase version is only available as a high roof in four motion. In fact, indeed, either way, two wheel drive or four motion. Mate, it's a great view from the outside and I'm loving the view from the inside. What's the go with this mural? Check this out, guys. All right, let's have a look in here. Wow! So we've got here in the background, so take a seat Alex, take a seat. We've got a, a view through here of our new mural for our new Combi Life uh, branding. So we can see we, we love the Combi Life and uh, thank many thanks to Olivia for preparing that for us for our new t-shirts and caps and logos and so on. It's all, it's all coming through pretty soon. And uh, that's been part of our vision here uh, in Sydney to create a place where Combi lovers, young and old, we've had a musician here from uh, the Hunter Valley who was here just a few moments ago in his old T5. He just had a couple of swivels fitted and his own sort of fit out on the inside and we just love it. He's playing uh, music professionally and travelling around New South Wales at the moment and has just come back from uh, I think Mullumbimby and Ocean Shores and Brunswick Heads and so on and he's just been here to get his uh, murals. We also had a gentleman here who's in his 70s uh, also um, you know, organising his van. So that's been part of the vision. We're now building out this second unit here to uh, really increase 
uh, the display space. Yeah. So we can touch and feel and, 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 and see all the different items that we can equip our vehicles for. I just noticed that you had a customer here who, who took out a rear, one of your rear Vanessa uh, modular systems. I couldn't believe how easy it was. I think it was just two screws. Yep. And out she come in, and that's pretty versatile. Yep. So yep. I guess that's, um, is that the way your systems work or how is it designed to? Um... So the Van Essen mobile camping systems are designed to be totally and utterly modular. We have yep. internal interior systems, rear kitchen systems, slide out systems. And the, the principle behind it is that your everyday vehicle you take to the shops, yep. take to the cinema, through a drive through, school drop off, going to work, uh, that sub, two metre high vehicle, sub five metre long vehicle in a short mm. wheelbase van uh, in four motion or two wheel drive uh, is able to be used every day. And then it can also be equipped for adventure, expedition, uh, touring, etc. Yep. Well, I certainly love the knickknacks you got next door. I mean, I've mean, i recently bought a, a VW barbecue. You may have seen one of our clips. <laughs> um, it was great. There weren't any German sausages on it yet, but apparently you told me they I do taste a, better. They do taste... I have a, <laughs> I have a good supply of German sausages. So <laughs> we will look after you when we see you in mid-October at Lithgow and out that way. In yeah, the we're looking forward to that, actually. Yeah. Well, what else is happening down here at Combi Life? So Combi Life, as we put in our new, uh, our new great big map ball that's going in today, um, We've got uh, some new products coming for California. So part of that new mural and that logo is all about uh, T6.1. Right. So we're exceedingly excited about T6.1. We've worked closely with Volkswagen to, to help um, expand what is available to the Australian marketplace. And I think uh, we'll see the Australian marketplace respond really well to these new models. Critical amongst them are, like that Rockton we saw out there now available as a series model, a short and long wheelbase four motion crew van. Right. So now mum and dad can take some other people along <laughs> in a four motion transporter, long or yeah. short. Yeah. That seat's removable, just like a Caravelle seat, like a standard crew van, triple seat. And that is a, an, an awesome vehicle. And that's what that uh, has been modeled off with the Rockton. The other big changes are the multi van comfort line is now available as a four motion. Short wheelbase as expected, short wheelbase, but the unexpected is long wheelbase. So we can now get a long wheelbase multi-van four motion. It's all happening. It is all happening. Still can get the high line four motion short wheelbase. Also, uh, the California is launching. Right. That's in November. First deliveries to customers are happening December, January, February, and so on over the coming summer. Uh, I can't wait to get mine. Uh, they were launched uh, in June for order with four motion as standard. Right. And I believe uh, a good proportion of those customers also chose the rear diff lock and the hill descent control as part of the off-road package. So we're going to have four motion Callies. Wow. Uh, look up the California online. It is an absolutely legendary vehicle in Europe over the last 30 years. It celebrated its 30th anniversary last year in 2019, where they launched the 30th anniversary model in the, as a last T6, California. And uh, there's big wait lists, high desirability, for people who want no fuss, low effort camping. And I'm really pleased we got the four motion models to Australia because with, within all the weight limitations and so on that we have here, because it means that we can take these awesome expedition Californias with the pop top roof, with the chairs and the tailgate, the table in the sliding door, the swivel seats, the diesel heater, the second battery, all these cool things, the electric roof. I've actually, I've actually got, to, got the electric roof. Oh really? Yeah. Yes, so I can sit here and press the button and up goes the roof. So we've got the electric roof wow. there as well. And the roof has, by the way, has a 50 kilogram weight limit. So yep. we'll be putting things on our roof. You know, it could be a roof box. Uh, max tracks or something like Max tracks, yeah. any of those sorts of things. So um, how cool is that? We're going to have uh, California's four motion with the off-road pack and all the cycle gear we just looked at on the Rockton can all be applied to. Alex will cut away to a couple of images. Yes. Uh, the off-road expo at Bud Kissing in last year in Germany over California beach. Uh, with the cycle off-road expedition equipment. So uh, that's what's happening here at Combi Life. We're very excited uh, about what 2021 holds for us. Well, it seems like lots are happening. And what I've noticed, you know, growing up, um, I used to watch the Leyland Brothers and I remember watching the old um, Combi. Combi. The 76, I think they had. Yeah, the 76. And it seems as though things are starting to re-emerge. And I've just noticed a slow injection of these vehicles back as we're touring around the place. But in particular, I've noticed a big interest in what's going on and we were recently out in outback Queensland at a campsite and there we were just minding our own business and we had a lot of people come up and, and firstly saying how did you get that here 
and secondly, um, really interested in what we were doing. So um, I can see that a little bit of nostalgia coming back, perhaps, and the essence of Combi and what it stands for. And we're really excited to be part of this movement, perhaps. I don't know what you call it, but there's something going on. Um, it's a good thing that's happening, and I think the planet needs some good things. That's right. So if Combi can inject some good things back into this planet, <laughs> we're all for it. Yeah, well, we have fond memories of uh, everything from Woodstock and Flower Power, <laughs> our splitty windscreens, our bay window winds yeah. our bay window combis touring around Australia. There's classic ones like Mike and Mel had yeah. touring around Australia, showing us how it's done. They didn't need a land or a land because they just took their combi around Australia. That's right. And uh, we, I think, we are harking back to that type of community. Our customers regularly report wherever they pull up, and they just start using their van. It doesn't take that long, maybe 10 or 20 minutes before the first inquiry comes, what have you got here? And uh, we've had a trend over the last 20, 30 years of going big, I think, and, and complex and sophisticated. I think there's a, a yearning for the simple things in life and the combi seems to embody that. Well, thanks very much, Mike. We really appreciate your time. I hope you've gleaned something out of our little uh, <laughs> vlog here today. And we're really looking forward to um, seeing what else comes up through Van Essa, Mobile Camping and Combi Life. And we're really keen to, to uh, be part of that movement, I guess. So thanks again, We look Mark. forward to the next time you'll be here, Alex. Yeah, thanks See you again. soon. All thanks the best. Bye. See you guys. Bye.